Should I ask my friend who plays in the NBA to go get food? Hello. So I went to high school with a guy who plays in the NBA. We were boys back in HS and I would drive him around to girls' houses when I got my license, because he was a year younger than me. He went off to college for two years and now plays in the NBA. We talk maybe once or twice a year just as friends. Maybe I'll congratulate him when he has a good game or FaceTimed when he got drafted. He texted me not too long ago about a watch he was looking at getting because I also buy, sell watches. I'm going to his city in two weeks for work and since I don't know anybody else there, I thought I'd hit him up and ask him to do something. I just don't want to come across as, oh he wants to hang out now that I'm in the league guarding Curry. This comes up because one of our classmates plays in the NFL as well and now everybody wants to be his friend and comes out of the woodwork and it's annoying. This may be a dumb question I just don't want to come off the wrong way. I don't really look at him any differently. Again, we were boys in HS. I just don't want to appear as coming out of the woodwork. This comes up because one of our classmates plays in the NFL as well and now everybody wants to be his friend. Yeah but you are actually friends. Just don't ask him to introduce you to the team or give you free tickets or anything like that obviously. But I don't think you should feel weird about seeing if he wants to grab lunch and catch up. Hey. I'm gonna be in your area on, X date. If you're around and free that night let's meet for drinks and catch up. Hope you've been good. Man relax just be like you used to be. If you still talk once or twice a year you're not just coming out of the woodwork. That's just how it is as an adult with friends from home. You may not see or talk to them for years but if you happen to be in their city you may decide hit them up and see if they want to hang. I'm sure this guy would appreciate a normal invitation to kick it from someone who knew him before he was famous. Send a text. Hey I will be in the area on whatever day. Do you want to meet up for a meal? Nah. Just be cool like you've always been and see if he wants to meet up for a meal. Not everything is about his career you just want to see your buddy again. F23 therapist says I need to reach out to my ex-boyfriend M26. I have been going to therapy sessions and had EMDR trauma therapy sessions because of my ex-boyfriend. We have split up three years ago. He caused me a lot of damage, emotionally, and I was always scared that I would see him again. My therapist wants me to reach out to him to have a therapy session with him so that I can maybe leave some things behind me. She wants me to not be afraid anymore. Does anyone have experience with reaching out to their ex after such a long time? I have no clue how it will help to reach out to my former abuser. I think it will only cause more pain. Thanks a lot for your answers. I have been to a firm for the therapy, with multiple therapists. My first EDMR sessions were with a good therapist. The therapist left and I needed to wait for more therapy. The next one said I was very pretty so I won't need any therapy, so based on my look she thought I was okay. I filed a complaint but they didn't care. After this, they got me another one and she forced me to do exposure therapy, which made me feel awful for months. After this I filed another complaint but I was the problem. The next thing that is happening is this. There's something extremely unsettling about this suggestion. This is not aversion therapy about something like a spider or an insect. This is subjecting you to someone who has done you harm and who you have distanced yourself from for your own mental well-being. No offense but are you sure this is a register therapist? Exposing you to this could unleash a lot of trapped trauma and unless your therapist is skilled in dealing with that it's a risky chance to take. I would be saying a big fat no. I'd also be looking at another therapist. You take care. Trust your gut. My therapist wants me to reach out to him to have a therapy session with him so that I can maybe leave some things behind me. She wants me to not be afraid anymore. WTH? I'd immediately change therapists. No decent professional will invite an actual abuser to do couples therapy. I've had heavy sessions of EMDR therapy and suggesting to contact an ex was an absolute no. Your therapist is major location flag location flag location flag location flag. Joint therapy when one person is, was abusive is not advised. This is a terrible therapist and you would be within your rights to complain to their manager, their licensing board. She has zero way to assess how he will behave or to ensure your safety during and after the session. Hell to the no. You don't want to see him again, and that's okay. These are boundaries. Therapist here. You do not need to be okay contacting your abuser. Also as a therapist I suggest a lot of things as HW, practice, etc. I give every client the right to veto. Mostly because clients know themselves, may not be ready, or want a different approach. You need to be comfortable saying no. Although my clients usually say no to something like journaling.
I've never suggested contacting an abusive person. My, 30M, girlfriend, 30F, is embarrassed that I wear Hawaiian shirts to the bar. This weekend, my girlfriend said that she is deeply embarrassed that I wear Hawaiian shirts, shorts, and flip-flops to the dive bars we go to. While also telling me that I'm not a man because I don't want to pay for $400 dollar cologne. Her negative comments have really gotten to me emotionally. I love her but don't want to be with someone who is embarrassed to be with me. When I tell her how much it hurts my feelings, she says, I'm just being honest. Dot. Has anyone dealt with anything similar? When I tell her how much it hurts my feelings, she says, I'm just being honest. Stephanie, there is a way to be honest and also respectful. New girlfriend time. Hawaiian shirts are the shit. You're all good bruh. It's called being one incompatible one. Look, I love a good Hawaiian shirt. Like, love a good Hawaiian shirt. Do they fit you? Are the prints really loud or some are subtle? Do they match your shorts? How neat are your feet to be wearing flip-flops? A pedicure will go a long way. You don't need $400 cologne. If she wants you to smell like something specific, and you like it too, she's welcome to buy it for you. Honesty doesn't make her tact exempt. Taking a peek at your post history, there's a lot of drama and you don't have to be with someone with this much turmoil. I think you could be better off without her. My husband wore a really awful pineapple shirt when we started dating. So I bought a banana shirt to be equally awful. Never be with someone who is embarrassed of you. I'll be honest, I'd probably also be a little embarrassed if my boyfriend was wearing this to a bar unless it was specifically a tiki bar. However, you're entitled to wear what you want and her delivery is rude. It's definitely not okay for her to tell you you're, not a man, for any reason, least of all because you're not paying for expensive cologne. Sounds like she just wants to date a different type of person and is trying to shame you into being what she wants. Let her go and find someone who appreciates who you are. How important is it to marry a right person? I am a Muslim 22-year-old female. In my culture marriage is allowed between cousins and most of the time they are arranged by the elders of the house. This thing happened to me too. My maternal aunt has a 25-year-old male, call him Jay. Their family wanted me to get married to him. They expected me to say yes because I have a very good relationship with my aunt's family. Even with Jay I have a very healthy bond. But for me it has always been platonic. I had made this clear in the past that I do not wish to marry him because I just don't think about him that way. But somehow all expected a yes from me abs and I said no. Thing is my aunt's family is pretty well off financially. They are really good people. They love and care about me. But I didn't say yes because the main guy Jay is not really a good person. He has treated his ex, who happens to be my friend and his and mine cousin too, so bad. He showed her private pictures to her mother. He also talked shit about her, a lot of it, around the town spreading rumors and painting her as a villain. This just doesn't sit right with me. Also he showed my little brother, who is 12 by the way 18 plus photographs of himself with an older woman. I do not know what to make of it. He has a habit of objectifying girls in general. All this was too much for me. So I rejected the offer. Also there were so many conditions like I have to impress him. Make him fall in love with me attract him towards me. And if after all this he goes back to his ex SMH that would be my mistake. I should change the way I look. I should change how I speak how I behave. All these conditions were presented to me by people I thought were on my side. Now my parents aren't happy about me saying no. Their reasoning is the family is well off you will have all the freedom you want. We are getting old. Blah blah. But I stood my ground and refused. Now Jay has been set up. With another girl. My parents are feeling regret that I lost a golden chance or something. I prioritized H having a good partner rather than good in-laws. Did I do the right thing? Feel free to ask any questions. Edit 1. Thank you everyone on this thread for getting my point and helping me through self-doubt. Appreciate y'all. We'll let you all know if I ever found the right guy or I am just going end up as a old lady with cats 1. Edit 2. Okay guys old lady with cats is not a bad idea, it's actually a great one. Also all these response are so overwhelming to read. I tried replying back to each and every one. This was my first post on Reddit, and the response from you guys has been great. Y'all are so sweet and I absolutely love this thread. People hugging. You absolutely did the right thing. While I understand that your family knew the other family and knew them to be good and compatible as well as financially secure, what wasn't taken into account was the character of Jay. He is of questionable morals and has done some very shady things. 
Add to that that all of the work of this relationship is your responsibility and nothing is expected of him except his own pleasures. You were never going to be his partner or his equal, you were going to be his servant and he was going to be manipulative and probably abusive. Just because someone comes from a good family it doesn't make them a good person. You really dodged a bullet. Congratulations on standing up for yourself and knowing that you deserve better. He sounds absolutely awful and you did the right thing. It may be tradition but marrying someone who is your cousin is inbreeding by 12.5%. You did the right thing emo. I understand the cultural influence that is pushed on you but ultimately the relationship is about you so it's more than fair for you to have a say in what you want and decide where you will be happy. Don't ask me. I'm on my second divorce. Never ever marry your cousins. It's not only morally incorrect but also your children may face abnormalities in their health. I know it has been happening since years but I expect modern and literate Muslims to understand the severity of the situation and avoid this cousin marriage things forever.